What's up, everybody? It's me, Chris, here to talk about this uh, upcoming weekend's um, heavyweight championship fight between Vitaly Klitschko and uh, Juan Carlos Gomez. Real quick before I do that, though, I wanted to talk about uh, this. Uh, I just wanted to mention uh, Leave It In The Ring um, boxing show. It's a radio show. It's on uh, blogtalkradio.com slash leave it in the ring. I'll probably put a link up to it over here in the information part of my video, um, like I did in my previous video. It's uh, hosted by uh, 97 Rough, Dave Duenas. I'm sure if you all... You all know who he is on here. It's uh, every Sunday, you know, a couple hours of uh, talking boxing. You know, he has uh, other people that have channels on here on there and um, fans you all can call in. There's a phone number. Call him for free. Talk boxing up with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, just chop it up about what's happened over the weekend, what's coming up. Things like that, you know, it's a good show. Um, and you can go there any day of the week. As a matter of fact, uh, all the previous shows are on, on demand, so you can download them and listen to them online or whatever. But, um... And he's supposed to have upcoming guests, you know, fighters, uh, trainers, whatnot. So just uh, be sure and check it out if uh, you're interested, you know, get involved. You know what I'm saying? Support what uh, he's doing out there. Um, anyways, moving on. This weekend's heavyweight championship fight. Uh, <laughs> I completely forgot about this fight. Otherwise, I would have mentioned it in yesterday's uh, my video I did for Roy Jones' fight coming up. And it uh, just shows you how far the heavyweight division seems to have fallen, that there's a heavyweight title this fight this week and no one's even really talking about it I mean I, like I said I completely forgot about it until this morning anyways um, we got uh, that WPC heavyweight champion Vitaly Klitschko defending his title against Juan Carlos Gomez who is the mandatory challenger um, Vitaly Klitschko 36 and 2 with 35 KOs uh, 37 years old now he's coming off the win over uh, Samuel Peter where he won the title hadn't fought before that fight since 2004 a win over Danny Williams was off for a uh, had a couple fights scheduled with the Steam Rockman, but had to bow out due to injuries. Ended up retiring uh, due to injuries and wanted to get involved in politics and whatnot. You know, and uh, the politics thing didn't work out the way he wanted to, so he ended up jumping back in the fight game. Um, got the mandatory shot against Samuel Peter and dominated the fight. You know, it's a pretty one sided fight for the most part. Samuel Peter didn't do much of anything in that fight, but just sit there and pretty much be a punching bag. Ended up um, retiring on his stool after the ninth round, I believe it was. Uh, really impressive performance by Klitschko, considering uh, how long he'd been out for, you know, but as I said, Peter's uh, performance is very uninspiring, so hard to really gauge where Klitschko's at, but uh, he looked good in that fight for what it's worth. Um, 37 years old, you know, but um, he was gone for a while because of injuries, but he doesn't have a lot of uh, ring, like, years on him, you know. He's got 35 KOs, so obviously not a lot of his fights have come in the distance, you know, only, like, what, a couple? And, um, you know, he hasn't been in a lot of wars or anything, you know, so he's a well-preserved 37 for the most part. Um, Juan Carlos Gomez, the challenger, former cruiserweight champion, was uh, very dominant at cruiserweight back in the day. Moved up to the heavyweight division for bigger fights, get more money, you know, more prestige, which uh, a lot of the cruiserweight champions, are, you know, do. David Hayes doing at the moment, or attempting to. Uh, Gomez, 44-1, and 1, 35 KOs, 35 years old, so, you know, he's no uh, spring chicken himself. He's only a couple years younger than a uh, Klitschko, and he may have a few more years on him uh, ring-wise than uh, Klitschko does, you know. He's got more fights, and he's probably been in a lot tough, not tougher fights, but probably more of his fights have gone the distance because he has less KOs. So, um, there's a bit of a height difference here, you know. Wait, real quick, uh, Gomez, he's coming off a win over uh, Vladimir Virchis, uh decision. I never heard of the guy. I guess the guy's undefeated. I think um, winning that fight got him this uh, uh, mandatory title shot here. Before that, he had a unanimous decision win over Oliver McCall. It's kind of a good win, you know, McCall's always a tough out, but he's past his prime, he's in his 40s, I believe now, so, you know. Um, actually, I believe that was a rematch of a fight uh, Gomez and McCall had previously, but uh, those are his last two victories. Anyways, uh, as I was going to say, is there's a bit of a slight height advantage, Klitschko being 6'7", Gomez being 6'3", but um, interestingly enough, Klitschko has 80-inch reach and Gomez has an 80-and-a-half inch reach, so, you know, they pretty much have the same reach, but uh, Klitschko does have a height advantage, so that'll be in his favor. Um... In regards to the fight, you know, word is uh, when these guys were both under the same uh, promotional company, I believe I've heard Gomez say they used to get the better of the Klitschko brothers in sparring. That may be the case, but, um, you know, I could see that because I think Gomez is a little bit better of a technical boxer than uh, Vitaly Klitschko is. I think he has better uh, foot movement, better technically, you know what I'm saying? But um, Klitschko doesn't need to be much of a technical boxer. He's got his own style, but it's effective. You know, he's got a lot of wins, got a lot of knockouts, really high knockout percentage. You know, so his style works for him. Um, in regards to this fight itself, you know, Gomez, I think 
he can do he can be a little bit competitive, but I don't see him winning this fight, you know. He's going to be the faster fighter, use his speed to his advantage, you know, be able to outbox Klitschko here and there in spots, I think. But um, I just think Klitschko's, you know, too big, maybe too strong. Gomez has been fighting a heavyweight for a while, but Klitschko's obviously the naturally bigger and stronger guy. Also, um, obviously the more powerful. Another thing, Gomez has a really good record, but he doesn't have a lot of uh, really big significant wins, in my opinion. You can't really look at his resume and say there's one really big... Um, win that he has that you can kind of go on that and based off that you can kind of see how he would fare against Klitschko or the elite heavyweights for that matter not that there's really any elite heavyweights at the moment aside from the Klitschko brothers but you know I'm just saying there's Gomez doesn't have really that one big significant win on his ledger um, so I think he may be able to be good in spurts here and there but I just think Klitschko's size and strength is going to either wear him down or Klitschko's going to be able to knock him out with you know catch him with something and just kind of you know stop him. Either way, I think Klitschko's going to win this fight. And uh, I do think he's going to knock Gomez out. You know, Gomez, I think, is a tough guy. Competitive fighter, you know. Former champion himself, like I said, in the cruiserweight division. But I just think Klitschko's size and strength advantage is going to eventually um, wear Gomez down. You know, Klitschko's got really heavy hands, as we saw in the Peter fight and previous fights. Really lands studying shots, you know, and just his punches just take a toll on you if he lands enough of them. And Gomez may have success early. I'll box him, but I just don't think he's going to be able to do so for 12 rounds. So I see Klitschko winning decisively. If it does go to a decision, I think Klitschko will obviously win a decision. But um, either way, I think Klitschko's going to win this fight by TKO mid to late rounds. Um, the good thing about this fight, it's on ESPN Classic. It's live. It's on, you know, pretty much free TV. You know, cable's not free, but pretty much everyone has it. So I'm going to check this out for fight on a live Saturday afternoon. So I'll definitely be checking it out. And uh, probably back on Sunday to give my thoughts after the fight. But uh, until then, I'm out of here. Bye.